Hello, and welcome to Physical Geography of the Environment 101, number 26024, that runs from July 9th at 5 p.m. through August 5th at 11.59 p.m. 2023, this summer 2023, four-week semester format at Santa Ana College. My name is Professor William Corder, and I'm the instructor for this class. I'm doing this in one shot and one take, so if I scramble it up or screw it up a little bit, it's just, you know, don't worry about it. Everything will roll fine when you actually watch the videos that are the lectures for the class. And by the way, this is completely captioned professionally. All of my lecture videos are also either captioned professionally or by me, so you can turn the captions on and read right through them, and they're like 99.9% .9 accurate. Canvas suggests using a current version of Chrome or Firefox rather than Safari. They also suggest that you clear your cache to ensure fluidity and the functioning of your system. If you don't know how to do that, YouTube has lots of videos on how to do it. If I was you, I would load Canvas's phone number into my phone. I have it loaded into my phone. Their phone number is 844-612-7428. They're available for you free of charge 24 seven and they are very, very helpful. So if you have any kind of technology snafus, please give them a call. Obviously I cannot be an ER doctor and be on call 24 seven for you. So if there's any problem that has to do with uh, technical issues, please contact them immediately. And as I said, they're available 24 seven. Before we start and I walk you through some of the things that are gonna happen in this class, I'm gonna tell you a little story. Here's what it is. So I work out at the YMCA near my house and I sometimes work out with a guy named Gabe, like Gabriel, but his name is shortened to Gabe. And he's a Vietnam veteran. He's a bit older than me and he's a Vietnam veteran. And when he found out that I was a geography instructor, he said to me, I had no idea how important geography was until I got to Vietnam. Because of course, what happens in war? You have to understand coordinates and latitude and longitude. You have to understand topography. You have to understand climate and weather and meteorology. And all these things are really important when you're fighting a war. So there you go. What I'm telling you is that geography is really a cross-disciplinary subject and I hope you get a lot out of this in this very very quick four week semester. You are the type of student that's known as self-selecting in this business which generally means that you guys have chosen to do a very quick very intensive course and that generally means that you're a really good student so hopefully this is what happens. So here's what you do to log on to this class. You tap in you tap in type in sac.edu like you see right there sac.edu edu and this page or a similar page is going to show up you come over here and you click on canvas and then you're going to see that this login to canvas bronze banner is going to show up you click on that enter your information and that will bring you to your canvas dashboard now this is my canvas dashboard so it looks different from yours but what you do is you just scroll around until you find your class and here it is right there geography 101 number 26024 you click on that and it should open up hopefully Indeed, there it is doing that. Uh, you know, supposedly it's going to open up all the way. Uh, let me go over here really quick, click on this, and let me click on this, back to home. Okay, so it says start here. Uh, that's probably a good place to start. I would recommend that you open that up and then read through this. It tells you some things about uh, the course and just general things like deadlines matter. You're going to get in a lot of trouble if you use chat GPT or any other AI. Let's go back over here to home on the left hand side and you can see welcome to physical geography and the environment 101 yes is similar to start here it is you can click on it and read through that if you'd like to read through it it's similar to start here it's not exactly the same but the school builds in some redundancies into this class and course shell so that you see things let's click on the syllabus over here on the left hand side and you'll see that the syllabus is going to open for you please make sure you read all the way through the syllabus because there are there is indeed a syllabus quiz in module one that you must take or I'm required to drop. You can see here's a no-show statement. Uh, so please read through that also. You can see here's all the information, how to get a hold of me. Notice the instructor reserves the right to modify this course overview if needed. You know, we just came out of a pandemic, so things can happen as we're all completely aware. You know, course name, description, textbook, which there is no required textbook. The textbooks that I have there are um, generally used for reference. They're, I'm not gonna test directly on the textbooks. 
but if you want one, you know, there's some possibilities there. Course placement and transferability, DSPS statement. If you're a DSPS student, please get that information to me and the documentation to me as quickly as possible so I can accommodate you appropriately. Student learning outcomes, course objectives, course topics. Notice that there are four sections in this class. Indeed, there are one, two, three, four. Each one ends with an exam. Attendance, chat GPT and AI warning, course grading. There are four 100 point exams. Uh, syllabus quiz that's worth 20 points, uh, eight homework assignments, four discussion boards, and so on. Notice that this is a straight scale that we go by. No exams will be dropped, no video homework assignment quizzes will be dropped. The syllabus quiz will not be dropped, no discussion boards will be dropped. There are no makeups, retakes, or redos on any graded assignment, quiz, or exam. A zero will be assigned for all exams, video homework assignments, and discussion boards that are not completed. Once a graded assignment closes, it cannot be reopened and there's no late work accepted. Please notice that this is the schedule. There are 16 modules built into this class in this Canvas course shell. So since we're doing this in four weeks, we're gonna do four modules per week. So one, two, three, four the first week, then five, six, seven, eight the second week and so on. Uh, technical information about Canvas, required technology, academic honesty, assignments of Canvas, important dates, all this kind of stuff. Title nine, okay. Then scroll down a little bit and you can see these are suggestions for successful completion of geography. There's uh, 12 bullet points there. Make sure you read through those because they are also on the syllabus quiz instructor bio. There I am at the uh, Taj Mahal emailing me. Please make sure you read this stuff about emailing me before you send me an email just so that we're operating in the same very, very important way. Okay, course description and so on. Okay, let me come back over here to home. And I will tell you this. Deadlines in this class matter and they're not flexible, okay? The first four assignments, which are found in module one, must be completed by July 15th, which is Saturday at 11.59 p.m. or I'm required to drop you by both the school, by the college and the state, okay? I, I don't have a choice in this, I have to do it. So please get those things done. It's, it's called a no-show if you don't complete those assignments, okay? Thank you very much. Let's click over here to modules. Now the modules are going to open up. I would start by looking at the course information module. You know, they built in start here. And you can see that if you click on welcome to physical geography and the environment, this is basically like the start here that you saw before with a little more detail. So please read through that. It doesn't take very long to do it. The course syllabus, you know, once again, it, there's some redundancy built in. So it's a more than one place instructor contact. It's more of the same stuff, but just take a quick look at it and just run your eyes over the top of a communication plan and so on. Okay, so if I was you, I would read through that uh, course information module. And now let me show you how the class itself works. So if we come over here to module one, uh, what's going to be opened up is module one, two, three, and four. Now, module four contains your first section exam, which is not going to be open until Wednesday. All right, but it's due, you can see, by July 15th at 11.59 p.m. Let's come over here and look at module one. We'll use that as our kind of example. I personally would click on the module one introduction. And I would read through this material because it tells you what's it tells you what's in it, and then take a look and watch that video. Let me backspace here, and then notice this: there are four graded assignments in Module One. They are all indented one space. All graded assignments in this class are indented one space. Want me to prove that? Let's take a look over here at Module Four. There we go, indented one space. Module Five, indented one space. Okay, so all the graded assignments are indented one space, and you can see the first one is syllabus and suggestions for successful completion of geography. So what you wanna do is read the syllabus and read that syllabus page and the um, suggestions for successful completion of geography. Once you've done that and you're ready to go, read the instructions first and then you take the quiz on it. Okay, it's not a very difficult quiz. If you've read the syllabus, you should be able to get through it, no problem. Then here's the first discussion board. It has to do with the pandemic, something that we all went through together. If you've never done a discussion board, read through the description and what you're supposed to do and then you click over here at reply and then you type in your answer blah 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 and then you scroll over here and click post reply and then your uh, response will be posted and in addition to that you'll be able to see everybody else's post because you in addition to posting your own reply to it you also need to reply to somebody else then if you click next right here bring you to the first of the video homework assignment quizzes uh, first, read through the information first, the instructions, and the video is right here. When you click on that, it's a link that will bring you to a video that's, as you can see right there, Annenberg Learner. These are professionally captioned, about 28 minutes long. 
Um, they're captured by the very wealthy Annenberg family. So you watch that video and then you take the quiz that's on it. Okay, then click next and we have another one. Click on the Earth Revealed link and it's the same thing, also captioned by the Annenbergs. And you watch the video and when you watch the video, um, which is again, professionally captioned, uh, you will then take a quiz on that. Now, I will tell you in advance that the videos are kind of old, but they're free and the information in them is really, really good. So that's the reason I use those because they are really excellent videos, even though they're old. Now, I want you to see this. Notice it says Section 1, Module 1, Terms and Concepts. And now if you come to Module 2, Section 1, Module 2, Terms and Concepts, and so on. So these are the terms and concepts that you need to get out of the lecture videos that follow this particular page. So that's the information from Module 1 that you need to be able to get and understand in order to be able to take the exam, which again is going to be based on Modules 1, 2, and 3. Okay, And then the exam is in Module 4, the Section 1 exam. All right, let me click back over here. And then you can see also that right after that is Introduction to Physical Geography and the Environment. And here's a lecture video. You click on that and it will begin to go through the class. That's me lecturing about the, that terminology and those concepts and explaining what they are. You get that information out of it. And then what you do eventually is through modules one, two, three, and then four. And four, you take an exam on that material that you gathered out of modules one, two, and three. Then that section's over with. And then we start section two, which begins with module five, and we go through exactly the same process. And then that ends, modules five, six, and seven, end with an exam, which will open up a week from Wednesday, uh, which is module eight, section two exam, and so on. That is the way we go through this class, okay? And I want to tell you something about the discussion boards. Discussion board topics are just straight ahead geography topics. Um, there are, I mean, they're not straight ahead geography topics exactly. Um, but they're kind of can be construed as geography, I guess you could say. But they're meant to represent topics that kind of arise organically, naturally in a face-to-face -face class. You know, I've taught for 30 years teaching face-to-face -face classes, and I can tell you that almost anything gets spoken about in the class, and we have discussions on it sometimes. So that's what they're really about. Um, but the topics are kind of, you know, college level topics and they are good to elicit discussion. And that's what I want to do rather than having you look up a famous geographer and then tell us something about it. This is, I think, is a more interesting and engaging way to, to deal with the discussion boards. OK, now let me tell you one last thing. So if you want five extra cre credit points on your section one exam, that's right. Five extra credit points on your section one exam email me or message me through Canvas with the name of the guy from the YMCA that I spoke about regarding geography at the beginning of this video. So what you do is you put the name of the class, which is Geography 101, number 26024, and his name in the subject box, and then your name in the body of the email. And then that must reach me by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, July 15th in order to receive the points. If you send it to me on July 16th or anything later than that, the point you're not going to get the points. So get it to me on time, and I will give you five extra credit points. And by the way, there are more things like that. Wink, wink, hint, hint, nod, nod. Very easy to get extra credit in this class. All you have to do is just make sure you read my emails and go through the modules correctly, and you'll find that there are little things embedded and sprinkled around that require you to do nothing more than just look at it and read it and tell me that you did it. All right, and meet the deadline, of course. Let's have a great four weeks. Good luck.